Hello guys, welcome back to Life with Mrs B and welcome back to a brand new food haul. Today I have been to Lidl, Lidl of course because I don't go anywhere else. I begrudge paying more money than what I have to for pretty much the same things. I love my local Lidl. This is not sponsored but honestly my local Lidl is great. I know some Lidl's are not so good and my own Lidl if you go to it at certain times it's kind of rubbish but I've just hit this place up Tuesday morning and I got everything that I needed guys so I'm going to show you everything I got. I spent just under £50 and I'm going to go through everything that I got and share it with you. So starting over here we got two bags of Granny Smith apples. We still have a little bit of fruit left over from last week. A pineapple which is kind of just getting ripe. Um, some oranges, bananas and maybe like one apple or something that's pretty much all we have left and a piece of ginger and a toy because why not? <laughs> these bananas, I'm going to peel these and put these in the freezer. These are great for smoothies. So yeah, I didn't get a lot of um, fruit just because we kind of had like oranges left and stuff and pineapple. And then I got a bag of plums to ripen at home. They're still pretty firm. One sweet potato for my dog, for her dog food. A pack of mixed peppers. Look how tiny the little green one is. Look, how tiny is that? It's like a little apple, it's so small. Whereas these ones are so big, all the packets had little tiny green ones. So it must have just been the way these ones were growing. And then a packet of spring onions. And then up here I got two cucumbers. Now this week is Easter Sunday and a lot of times supermarkets they have really crazy deals around Easter Sunday, Christmas, that kind of thing where they know people are having big roasts and yeah they do like special offers on a lot of like roast kind of vegetables. These potatoes were only like 20 pence, something ridiculous. I got a bag of them and then I got an iceberg lettuce and then carrots. They were also on offer 19 pence this week. A packet of blackberries, two thingies of, two bunches of bananas. I tried to get one that wasn't as yellow, well it wasn't as green rather, not as yellow, duh. <laughs> wasn't as green, was slightly more yellow but they were all pretty green. Um, just because they're really good to eat when they're like that. They're much better for your body when they're like that. And I got a cauliflower, that wasn't on offer sadly. And then these regular potatoes, these are good for, it says mashing and roasting. So I'm gonna make a big, huge, massive thing of mash out of these. And then I'm probably gonna cut these up in, in little cubes and then just like roast them. Oh, I might do that tonight actually. <laughs> Just getting ideas in my head there and then over here i got a three pack of these are just plain cheese pizzas the kids like these i can make my own pizza but i just don't really have the time just now and then some grapes i think the kids picked the most disgusting looking grapes they look a bit brown hey oh i should have checked them and then i got a bag of chips we normally get curly fries but they didn't have curly fries this week so we just got these homestyle ones a big nine pack of toilet roll. I say big, that literally lasts us for like a week. We go through random, but we go through about a toilet roll a, a day in our house, which I don't think is terrible. There are five of us. I don't work outside the home. The kids are home educated, so we spend a lot of time in the house. I don't think that's bad. And then I got this big block of cheese. We don't always get cheese, but I got this big one because the kids asked for toast and cheese for lunch today. And then Thomas likes to put extra on his pizza. So I will cut up, grate, freeze, whatever we don't need. Some dairy free spread, this is the best spread ever. I speak about this all the time. This is the bee's knees. Some beef mince, this is not for us. This is for my dog to make with the sweet potato and lots of other things. She gets dog food made for her because she is a spoiled puppy. And then these little fromage frays for the kids. And then moving on to kind of like cupboard stuff, we've got some muesli bars, kind of like granola type bars. I don't even know what's in these. I just seen these and thought they would be good for we're going to homeschool group tomorrow. I thought we would take some of them with us. The day after we're actually going to the beach as well. So I thought well this is a pack of eight. There's three kids. That's like they can get like two, two and a bit each. <laughs> so one for tomorrow and then one for the next day. I got this Abiscoff spread. Well it's not Biscoff. it's like Lidl's own version of Biscoff. It's really good. And then over here I got some milk chocolate digestive biscuits two loaves of bread, two packets of plain bagels and then back here I got these crisps, these are for Thomas for his lunchbox for work. Then here we've got some tortillas for chilli, I'm going to make chilli this week. And then we've got a plethora of beans. I got four tins of chickpeas and four tins of red kidney beans. They're so cheap in Lidl, so cheap. Porridge oats, staple, make porridge from them, you can make biscuits from them, you can make 
Okay, that's about it. <laughs> you can make protein balls from them. That's it really, but my kids like them. Um, Thomas also likes overnight oats. Three cartons of, this is the, my, my camera is so going in and out of focus there. I don't know what's wrong with it. Yes, three cartons of soy milk unsweetened. Then I got this little pack of raisins. These are just a little, the little snack pack. So it's just the little tiny packs for your kids. Or, I mean, adults can eat them too. <laughs> then I got these chilli peanuts for Thomas for his work as well. Some sour cream and onion like Pringles. Two packets of the wheat. Well, wheat and white. And these are just the mini wraps. I got these for enchilada casserole. Oh my gosh. I made enchilada casserole last week. Watch it on this week's um, Foodie Friday, guys. It was so good. The kids ate every single scrap of it. Like, I mean, it was gone. They loved it. And I also need cheese for on top of that. I got eight, no, that's six cartons of passata. I can count, I swear. Six cartons of passata for chili and enchilada sauce. And over here we have a four pack of baked beans. We do toast and beans once a week. It is easy, it is relatively nutritious. It is uh, like a good meal. If you ask a nutritionist, they will say toast and beans is actually a very balanced, good meal for you. So yeah, we do toast and beans once a week. It's cheap and it's easy and it's quick and the kids can actually make it themselves. Not that they do, but they can. <laughs> and then these are just some little vitamins. These ones are just Lidl's own ones, like the Lidl brand. They are just multivitamin uh, fruit softies. And then finally, a uh, two litre of water for Thomas for his work. He takes that with him and he fills it up a couple of times and then he discards it, like recycles it because you're not really meant to refill them. But yeah, so that's everything in my haul today this week, guys. As I said, just under £50. I didn't need a lot of stuff this week. So this is all that I got. I hope you enjoyed the haul. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And I will see you tomorrow for a new video. My kids are so weird. There was one. There was another one. There it is. <laughs> you guys are funny. Say bye to everyone. Bye, bye guys. Bye.